Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Prepared Monday. I'm your host, Veteran Mountain Man, and today we're going to talk about something that has been on my mind a bit, especially after getting my new Leatherman, and that is cordage. Now, some of you will be like, well, what is cordage? Well, cordage is actually just rope, twine, cord, things that, that you'll need in a survival scenario to do minor day-to-day tasks, such as build a lashing, uh, create a bipod or a tripod, um, tie a tarp to something, tie something to something else, stitch up a damage to a piece of equipment, things of that nature. Uh, Cordage comes in all types, sizes, colors, variants of materials, and so many other things. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to discuss with you a couple of different types of common cordage and give you a bit of pro and con about each one. Uh, And then I will do another video that will be a follow-on to this that will actually discuss what I carry and why. Now, we're going to start with the ubiquitous 550 cord or also known as paracord. Now there are some deviations to this, including 750 cord, 950 cord, ultra cord, and a couple other things. Now a lot of these variances have things such as fire starter internal strands, jute twine internal strands, fishing line internal strands. To be fair, If you're buying paracord or 550 cord with something special in the inside, you're buying it to gut it, and you might as well not even bother. You're going to spend way more money on the 550 cord and spend way more time taking it apart than you really need to. If you want the jute or you want the fishing line, get the jute, get the fishing line, get the 550 cord as well. Now, another common type of cordage that's in use is called bank line or tarred twine. This usually comes in spools. It's designed for bank fishing or long line fishing. It's also got some other uses. It's not bad stuff. Once again, it's nothing all that special. You usually get it when you're buying this kind of stuff in 275 to 360 pound test. Unlike the 550 cord, which is 550 pound test, it's a little lighter, but it's also lighter to carry and you can therefore carry more of it. Um, Another thing that's commonly used is uh, waxed thread or marline, uh, which is a clear waxed sewing thread for canvas, rope, and other things. It's good stuff. It's fairly strong. It handles well. It's not 350 pound or 550 pound test, so it's designed for lighter applications. Another thing that commonly gets used is fishing line or braided fishing line or spider wire. I'm actually a big fan of spider wire, by the way. I keep some in my kit. So these are the common items that are that are out there for types of cordage now some people will also tell you well you need to have steel wire you need to have brass wire you need to have this that and the other some people will tell you that having these things is always great and i agree having the necessary equipment to do a necessary task is very important but you can't always have everything now some other things that commonly get talked about are things such as rope or shock cord, or bungee cord, or, you know, clothesline, stuff like that. I will tell you right now, I'm not a big fan of shock cord at all. Uh, I use it for tent poles. I use it on occasion for things that I want to be able to bungee tether. But realistically, if I'm going to use something like shock cord, I will probably just go ahead and use 550 cord. In a survival scenario, the 550 cord will actually be a better choice. The shock cord is much more difficult to work with, takes much more time to manage, and is not nearly as usable in other scenarios. Um, If you can afford the shock cord and you want to have some sitting around the house, go ahead, but it's not something that I would recommend. Another thing is rope, and realistically, rope comes into a very odd scenario. Rope is very, very, very useful. I love the rope I have around the house. I maintain it. I care for it. I use it quite a bit for different things. 
Uh, however, if you're not very familiar with rope, rope will actually be a detriment to you in this kind of a situation. So don't go for it. Well, those are the different types of cordage that are commonly talked about for survival scenarios. And next week, I will give you a breakdown of how I pack my kit and what I actually prefer to carry in the wilderness. Thank you all again for joining me. Please remember to upvote and follow me here on Vidme or like and subscribe on YouTube. Also, don't forget, I am on BitChute. The link is down below. BitChute has a wonderful UI. It's a little difficult to find things, but uh, they're treating me rather well. I finally got remonetized on YouTube and did me here, still won't verify me. Uh, don't forget you can also catch me at minds.com, gab.ai, and twitter.com under the handles down below. And don't forget to come on over to Patreon and become a patron because every cent you spend being a patron, I can use to improve this channel and give you guys more information. Thank you all and have yourselves a great day.